Okay, so you are aiming to weave your kite up to your pin, so where the top of your pin is, which is here. If you have um, some extra length on your fenu, you can actually extend it. So you can see I've actually extended mine up a little bit here, um, but you do need to ensure that you um, go by your shortest piece. So if you have a look at this piece, this is my shortest piece. I want around a finger's length. So if you can have a look on my thumb there, at least a finger's length, not woven, so that when I complete the next step, I don't run out of fenu. Um, so once you've done that and you've woven it up to the place that you think, it doesn't have to be all even, it can sort of be like mine is here, we're going to find something called the udder. Now the udder of your kete is the top line of your kete. Um, and to do that, you need to start, so I usually start in the middle here, and you're looking for a fenu that is going to the right. So for example, this piece here, and you're going to fold that fenu down towards your left. And now this here is your udder. So it's on a 45 degree angle there, um, and that's the start of your udder. You're then going to follow around doing the same thing. So this is my fenu on the right. I'm gonna pull that down to my left. So now I've got two pieces down. These pieces here stay up, um, and they're gonna fold down later. So you're gonna go around your whole kite, folding down your udder. So you can see I've got three there. Now it's very important that your udder stays level. So you can see here, all of these three pieces are at the same height. If I accidentally um, weave too far down, I will start to lose my udder and it will start to go on an angle. Um, and then I will need to redo my udder. Now it's really easy to redo your udder. You can just pick your pieces up and start again. Um, you'll know if you have your udder correct because it should match up when you get round to the other side. Now to keep these down, once you've got about a group of four, you can just use one of your um, bobby pins and you can just pin that down like so, just to keep those. When you get to the corners here, this is where it might get a little bit trickier, so you'll have to find so this piece here. You might have to reweave a little bit like I've done there. So I've rewoven that in. And this piece there comes down, and that now matches my udder there. And it's often easier to pick it up and go like this when you get to your corners so that you can find your udder. So you can see here, I just have to weave that back up there. And that's gonna fold over like so. And when you get, when you get to the corners, you may find it easier to use more pins. There's lots of pins around. So just grab some more pins and just pin it down, and then you can move around to this next piece here. So I have to reweave that up as well. And you can pull either end slightly just to keep your tension tight, but we will be able to fix that a little bit later on as well. So that comes down like so. And you're just gonna work your, all the way around until you get back to the beginning.